All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekai, Kodash, double on the city apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. In today's lesson, it's coming from CNN. It says, these are victims of the Indianapolis FedEx shooting. So this is a... Uh, this is the day, but the shooting happened, I believe, uh, yesterday. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm just going to make this uh, a quick video, you know, and, you know, through all, all through the spirit, you know, I'm just pretty much going to tie all these into one that this is Esau Edom's agenda uh, to take away you know your uh your your, your 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 firearm rights but you know us here at the, uh in this truth you know we we don't you know we our, our our warfare you know is is a spiritual warfare you know that we fight you know against you know a spirit in high places you know uh matter of fact uh let me see if I can find that. I need to bring that out since I came up with it through the spirit. Uh, uh, I believe it's in Romans. Might be Hebrews. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, and you know that the the sword is Esau Edom's blessing. You know, you know that's that blessing wasn't for you know the, the Hebrew Israelites. You know, you so called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Even though you know you see Jake now is has made the uh, sword their their thing to go to. You know, uh, that's how you see y'all on the, you know, doing the little young videos and, you know, and that's their thing now. You know, they trying to make Esau Edom's uh, blessing, their blessing, which Esau is, you know, he's, he's making it easy for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans you know, to, uh, you know, jump on board to, to having a sword, which, you know, that deception thing has always been Esau Edom's, you know, uh, blessing also, you know, he always has used the, uh, you know, that, the deception of, uh, you know, of tricking, you know, pretty much the public, you know, um, you know, Edomites are, are real easy to persuade, you know. You can tell them something about, you know, certain people, and they they jump on. They they're with it. This is Second Corinthians, chapter ten and verse four. It says, "The for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High, to pull down the strongholds." Let's read that again. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. So, you know, uh, and these strongholds are, you know, these, these the trickery. Let's look up that stronghold, see what the blue letter has for it. Uh, okay. And this is, it in the Greek. Strong's G, 3794, Ahurama. Ahurama. Uh, it says, let's get the, it says the arguments of reasoning by which a dispute endeavors, endeavors to fortify his opinion and defend it against opponents. I think I said that now. Let, let's get the word, you know. I don't think I said that right, but we're going to look it up just to get the, to make sure I said it right. I know I said a lot of words all wrong, but. Opponent. Opponents. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. 
So you know who's the opponent? The Hebrew Israelites, or you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, it says the arg. It says of the arguments and reasonings by which a dispute endeavors to fortify his opinion and defend it against his opponents. You know, and that's Esau Edom's man. That's a. Hey, that's him all day. You know, that's the stronghold. Okay. Okay, let's read the rest. Uh, verse 5, that says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringing into captivity every thought, every, every thought to the obedience of the Most High or, um, or Mashiach. So that's, that's our, you know, that's our weapons, man, you know. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You see? So we work through the spirit, man. You know? And carnality is, you know, anything physical. You know? So let's look the word of carnal. It says sexual, but, you know, it's physical. We're dealing with phys physicality. It says relating to physical, especially sexual needs and activities. We're just all talking about, you know, being, you know, uh, Anything physical, you know, we, we're dealing with the spirit, you know. Let's see, let's get that word, Connell. Strong's G, 4559, Sarkikas. Sarkikas. It says the outline of the biblical usage is fleshly carnal, having the nature of flesh under the control of the animal ap appetites, which, you know, that's Esau Edom, you know. You know, he, he's. He's everything with him is dealing with you know he ha it has to be seen you know he don't he doesn't have a spiritual mindset you know you know that's that's our blessing you know the Israelites the so called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans I was trying not to make this too long but let's get to the video and we'll come back with some precepts. CNN's Jason Carroll is in Indianapolis right now. So, Jason, this is so heartbreaking. It is at least the 45th mass shooting in this country in just the past month. How is the community responding and what have police been able to find out so far? Even with all the shootings, Pamela, that have occurred that have occurred all over the country, when it happens in your community, that's when it obviously just really hits home. And that's what the people here in Indianapolis are feeling and experiencing now. Uh, right now, as you can see, this vigil is about to get underway. We've got uh, a number of people who have started to gather here at this park. Again, eight victims, many of the people here, family, friends, co-workers. We've seen some people here wearing orange FedEx t-shirts. Again, four of the members, four people, four of the victims were members of the sick community. Uh, the sick community feels especially targeted, Pamela, because as you can as what we've been learning, many of the people who worked at that FedEx facility were members of the sick community. Um, in addition to that, there were other victims as well, four others, the oldest 74 years old, the youngest 19 years old. There were actually two 19-year-old victims. I want to bring you right over here to a family that, that we've been introduced to. Again, this, this tragedy has hit the sick community extremely, extremely hard. Um, hi there, Jason Carroll. I'm told that um, you wanted to share some of your thoughts and your feelings in terms of how you're holding up during this moment. It's hard for us. Yeah, because I just saw her like two days ago and she was telling us that she's just going to be, she'll be working for the last day over there and we never thought that this thing's going to come. Can you just hold up the picture here and what do you want us to know about her? Tell us what you want the world to know about the person you love so much. She was the most amiable in the family, more, most diligent, dedicated. And today we're supposed to have a big celebration, but now we are mourning, we are in grief. This is a picture of her here? Both. This is both of We lost two family members in one day. Um, it, it's completely devastating for us. Um, we never expected something like this to happen. It's really hard for us. You know, when, when these shootings happen, we've seen them happen all over the country. And I was just explaining that when it happens to you, to someone you know, one of your loved ones, 
it takes on a whole new significance. It, it does. It does. We never expected that, you know, they would go to work and we would never see them again. They were, um, my other, one of my aunts, she wasn't supposed to go to work. She was supposed to take the day off, but then she decided, oh, well, let, let me just go in. Um, we didn't know she was going to She was going to come back. So. I know this is very difficult. I, I really want to thank you so much for, for sharing. Is there anything else that you'd like to say about the people that you love so much? Um... I mean, we wish they were here with us today. We really do wish um, they weren't um, in the middle of this. We never expected that something like this would happen to us. We read about gun violence every single day. Um, it's not acceptable anymore. Something needs to be done about it. Um, our government, everyone, we need to do something about this. Oh, yeah, and you can believe something is definitely going to be done about this, you know, because... It's Esau's plan, man. Hey, this is what he wants the public, you know, to, you know, to uh, have on their mind is, you know, to run to him, you know, for, you know, for help. This is Michael 2 or chapter 2, verse 1. It says, woe to them that devises, that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. And that's Esau Edom, you know. And, you know, this this is how he runs it. You know, he's 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 putting this out there. And I mean, I can't say if this is a, you know, if it's an actual shooting or this is what, you know, is it a planned shooting, you know. You saw Edom has so many tricks up his sleeve. You know, you can see right here, this is the gold spar, which is the uh, the other mass shooting uh, down in Georgia, uh, North Atlanta, I believe it was. Uh, and it says, related article, it says the U.S. has reported at least 45 mass shootings in the last month. Which, you know, they all been who? <laughs> the so-called white man. You know, Esau Edom. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's upset because he's losing his kingdom and he's know his, his time is short, man. You see? Okay. Uh, let's see what we can get. I thought it was something else that they had on here. Uh, yeah, man, this, this is the topic right now is gun violence, you know, and, and, Esau Edom is is definitely gonna come down hard, and that's gonna that's gonna uh make the people re rebel against them. You know we'll hey, there's nothing to it, man. For you know if we had guns, we hey, no big deal. Hey, here, but you know that's Esau Edom's uh blessing is the sword, man, and he's not gonna he's not gonna let he's not gonna let this sword go that easy, man. That's that's impossible for him to do. It's He's not going to do that. And this is the video I was watching. Uh, so let's uh, watch a little bit of that. Multiple other people were injured and went to local hospitals. At least four people were hospitalized, including one person with critical injuries. Two others were treated at the scene. No law enforcement officers were injured. We understand police have said the gunman shot and killed himself. One employee said he had just sat down to eat with a co-worker when the shots rang out. I opened my chips, got my sandwich, about to take a bite. He was going to take a bite out of his sandwich, and we heard two metal, loud metal clangs at first because they weren't—they didn't sound like gunshots at first. They made because there was a again there was a loud clang after the first two, and then my buddy Levi stood up as he was like kind of squatting at the bench, and then looked over and out into the parking lot, didn't see anything yet, and then we heard three more shots. And then my buddy Levi saw someone running out of the building and then more shots went off. Somebody went behind their car to the trunk and got another and got another gun. And then I saw one body on the floor. And when officers arrived at the building just after 11 p.m., they say the gunman was still firing right now, though. Police say there is no longer an active threat. Again, this happened just after 11 p.m. in Indiana, Indianapolis near the airport Thursday evening 
Indianapolis police responding very quickly to that FedEx ground Plainfield Operations Center where those shots were fired. As officers responded, they came in contact with that active shooter. The alleged shooter died by suicide at the scene. Again, eight people dead from gunshot wounds. The gunman not included in that number. Investigators are still trying to determine a motive, exactly why, how this happened at that facility. We also understand from our local affiliate there in, in Indianapolis that um, increased security there at the main FedEx facility. This is not the main one. Again, this is the FedEx ground Plainfield Operations Center, but we understand at the main FedEx facility in that city, there is increased security, just for safety at this point, precautions after this um, latest mass shooting here in America. And we are just getting a statement in. Okay, so let's let's get a precept. Um, see, this is this is uh this is the start of it. This is the beginning of it because he saw. I mean. If this if this is if this news is actually true news, then you know however it is, you know however it goes, uh, you know Esau Edom is is playing it out like it's happening. So we're gonna roll with it, you know. You know we're gonna roll with it. how he said it is. Say hey, if he says it's a mass shooting, we're gonna go with it, you know. Which is that's all prophesied. So. You know, we're going to roll with it. This is Jeremiah 16 and 4. Chapter 16 and verse 4, it says, They shall die of grievous death. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven, and for the beast of the earth. Now this is talking about the Israelites, but you know, pursuing to Jeremiah, not I mean pursuing to uh 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 what is it? I think it's Deuteronomy uh thirty and verse seven. It says uh these uh it says uh and the Lord Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And upon them that hate thee, which prosecuted thee. So, the same curses that we went through, you know, uh, Esau Edom is going to have to go through. Okay? So, uh, Jeremiah 16 and verse 4 was saying that they, you know, they're going to be as dung upon the face of the earth. You know, which that that's going to be, you know, uh, uh the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans also. But as well, there will be Esau, Edom out there too laid out, you know. And it's, you know, and whatever other nation that didn't go back to their land, they'll be laid out as dong also. This is going to be a, a horrific act that, you know, it's going to be a, a, a thing that's, you know, it's going to be the norm, you know, for uh, Israelites and, you know, heathens and all or the rest of the nations to be laid out in the street as dawn. You know, so that's why we come out and do these these lessons and 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 let make me let's let's go to Jeremiah sixteen and sixteen. So this is the time that we in. Uh it says, Behold, I was sent for many fishes. And the fishes are who? Are the are the saints or the uh the Israelites on the street corners. You know, uh, uh, mainly uh, a great millstone, which has the 100 percent truth, you know, you know, the whole truth of the Bible, not just, you know, the fundamentals of saying that, hey, we're Israelites and, and this and that. And no, nah, we got to You go. You want the whole 100 percent truth. So you go to great millstone, you know, GMS, you know. Uh, let's get back to it. Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, Behold, I was sent for many fishes. And the fishes are the men of the Lord out on the street corner prophesying, telling you to repent, you know, because the days are not, you know, for uh, destruction. And it says, The Lord, Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after I was sent for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, 
and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. And that's, you know, that's the end times, man, you know, after the missiles, you know, like the camp, you know, that uh, Apostle Dahar, you know, uh, uh, brought out. And, you know, I, I just, you know, kindly put that in my, uh, as part of my camp name, but, you know, uh, you know, that's, it's all in, you know, uh, love and, you know, and, and respect, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, so the actual, the point was in, you know, that the Most High going to send for many fishes, you know, to fish in the elect, you know, which, you know, uh, the people that don't hear these words, you know, they're not of the Most High anyway. They're not his uh, sheep anyway. But yeah, man, I that's that's all I wanted to get out. You know, I just wanted to bring out a few uh, precepts. You know, just to let you know that the days are wicked, man. You know, so at the time, hey, it's gonna get worse and worse from now on. You know, you may have a little, you know, a party in here and there, but it's gonna come to a point where the party and it's gonna actually come into to morning, man. Okay, so. With that being said, you know, we're going to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rika, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. Shalom to the whole for elect. 